Now I want to start the last chapter five, and I want to show you want to show you uh, to a very powerful method for controller design uh, using Bodo plots. Um, before I start, <coughs> I want to introduce a new uh, stability criterion. Um, additionally to the Hovitz from chapter 4. It is not a part of chapter 4, it's more than a part of chapter 5 because this is a base uh, information for the <coughs> design method. And this is the um, Nyquist criteria. Nyquist, Nyquist was a famous scientist and he has developed many many things and one thing is this stability criteria. Criterion. Nyquist Stability criterion. If uh, you ask why a new criterion, we have have two: that's the pole criterion and we have the Hovitz criterion. I tell you, Nyquist is a good addition because this <laughs> can be used uh, for this controller design. The pole criterion and the Hurwitz can not really be used to uh, design a controller. You can investigate a designed controller, but uh, you get no help or no information, no indicators uh, for your design to get a good design. That's only true for this new stability criterion. And I uh, first start a comparison. Yeah, comparison. Uh, with Horvitz, <coughs> let's draw a table. Draw a table. Um, on the uh, right side, the Horvitz from chapter 4, and on the left, uh, right, left side Horvitz, right side Nyquist. Before I really introduce the uh, criterion, um, in Hovitz, a big disadvantage is you need the closed loop transfer function coefficients. That means you cannot directly measure this. You have to start an identification for your process. Then you have to add your controller, and then you have to close the loop with a feedback rule, and then this denominator. Of this function has to be investigated. So sometimes this is not known. You need transfer function of closed loop. I um, <coughs> emphasis closed loop. Here in Nyquist, uh, the difference is you need only, I have to tell you that is only border plot that is less, much less information than a transfer function. You need the border plot and not from the closed loop. You need only border plot from open loop. From open loop system without feedback. Before you close the loop, uh, you need the border plot <coughs> and then we execute the uh, investigation of Nyquist and then we get a uh, message and information a prediction what happens if you close the loop yeah that is nearly unbelievable that this is possible yeah uh, note that here you have all information about the system if it is closed and then you investigate it that is uh, powerful but you need much information nyquist uh, offers exactly the same information of stability and use much less information and um, you have not to close the loop you can see the stability of the closed loop system directly with the view on the open loop information so this is really great um, another uh, difference is um, delays are not allowed in Horvitz delays not allowed. Why? <coughs> a delay has a transfer function which is e to the power of negative pt delay. So this is not 
expressible with a polynomial function. Here we need polynomial the coefficients of the polynomial function of the denominator. If there is a delay, uh, then you have this type of terms, and then you have not this standard um, transfer function with numerator and denominator and two polynomial functions. <coughs> so delays are not allowed. Uh, here, of course, we only look for a border plot. Delays are allowed. Uh, the question is, does this happen? Uh, yes, in any digital system you have a delay, uh, sometimes neglectable, but uh, if you have a digital system, you must live with a delay caused by a conversion of ADCs and calculation times. Yeah? <clears throat> so delays are always existent, and then we have to neglect them, and then Horvitz is then an approximation, not an exact stability criterion. Uh, and finally, you can say, okay, in uh, Horvitz and Nyquist, uh, one thing, one disadvantage appears in Nyquist, the Bode plot um, criterion is different to the polar plot criterion. To the, uh, there are two criterions for Nyquist. We only use the special criterion, which works on border plot. Then the system, the open loop system, uh, must be stable. Here we can say um, unstable processes are allowed. And here we can say uh, we have a restriction, only stable processes are allowed. Stable processes uh, allowed. So we can say, okay, if your system is a hanging a magnetic ball in a magnetic field or is an inverted pendulum, standing pendulum, then uh, you cannot use an Nyquist border plot criterion. <coughs> you cannot use anything in chapter 5. Then you have to investigate stability with Horvitz. In Horvitz, you, this is allowed. <coughs> we have done a uh, calculation with a 3PT1 system and one negative time constant. So this works also with unstable processes. This not. There is a Nyquist criterion, which also works with unstable systems, but this uh, is much more... Um, time-consuming and difficult and uh, the time to explain needs at least two, two weeks. I have done this many years ago uh, caused by a reduction of my uh, time in the lecture. I have to cancel it and my argument now is okay uh, I take Nyquist for stable processes. If unstable processes uh, are used then we have to go to Horvitz or uh, do other things like um, cas multi cascaded loops discussed in Control System 2. There you will see how to uh, stabilize an inverted pendulum with um, <coughs> a multi cascaded system. Okay, so far uh, the Nyquist criterion seems to be very interesting, uh, and this is a base for Chapter 5 controller design. Because with the uh, given border plot of the system, you can uh, have m several indicators for the properties of a closed loop system. So I think um, some hint. Um, yeah, I, I should now add the criterion. Uh, you see, uh, Nyquist. Criterion <coughs> looks <coughs> for following. We need the open loop border plot, so we can draw the magnitude curve. Under this magnitude curve, we need the phase curve. Yeah, magnitude curve and a border plot consists of two curves mostly negative phases, so I have to draw the axis of the phase curve in the top region. That is the open loop, and that is the open loop magnitude 
in DB. <coughs> uh, F open loop contains the controller, contains the actuator, contains the process itself, contains the sensor, but doesn't contain uh, the feedback. So we have all blocks <coughs> in the loop except the feedback line. This is called open loop function. Open loop system function. Okay, so far. <coughs> the magnitude of the open loop system function um, looks like the following curve. Normally we try to have large gains because we have learned in chapter 3.9 large gains uh, um, are fundamental a reason for good control effect. So good controllers need large gain. Uh, but caused by low pass effects of mostly processes but also for actuators and sensors, all these are low passes. This gain goes down if frequency goes up. So normally we have behavior for low frequencies large gain, low pass characteristic for high frequencies this goes down. Uh, very important we have here a very characteristic frequency, radian frequency, that is the crossover frequency. Crossover frick. Uh, where the magnitude, large magnitudes, crosses over the zero dB line. That is a gain one line. So all these gains are larger than one, all these gains are smaller than one. Here is a gain uh, exactly. Uh, one <coughs> or one is, is the same as zero db. Phase curves normally uh, are also drawn in this same uh, diagram, uh, mostly negative, caused by low pass uh, effects. Now the controller can have positive phase, but actuator, process, sensors normally have low pass characteristic with negative phases, so. Our phase curve normally goes down into a negative region. This is a zero degree line. <coughs> and now look what happens. Now I look exactly at this point. This is the most important point of my system. Uh, and this phase is very uh, fundamental for stability of the system. The negative phase at crossover frequency omega d. Look what uh, happens if I close the loop with the negative feedback of the open loop and I draw now, I add a negative feedback and we can say okay this is the control difference here, that is the controlled value x, it's a desired value w. If for example the gain here is 1 at this frequency. If the gain is 1, then this output signal is has the same amplitude than the input signal. We look for sinusoidal signals. Yeah? Don't forget, Bode plot gives information for sinusoidal signals. We assume now a sinusoidal signal with a radian frequency crossover frequency omega sub d. In this case, the amplitude here is exactly the amplitude there. What is with the phase? The phase is here mostly negative. Assume that this phase is minus 180. If the output has the same amplitude than this and the phase shift is minus 180 and now I feed this back with additional uh, inverter, then you should know that minus 180, the sinusoidal signal with the phase shift of minus 180 is the same as if I had inverted it. So this is invert, inverse to this, and I invert this a second time. So here comes the signal back, which is identical to that what going inside this um, open loop system. That means the system feeds itself, or I have built a sinusoidal generator, <coughs> and this system becomes unstable. So this phase is important for stability, and what uh, Nyquist now has 
proven in his scientific work is the distance to this instability point minus 180. This distance is important for stability and damping. If we have a good distance from this point to this, uh, yeah, we can say, instability point, then we have a good loop. The nearer we come to this instability point with a negative phase, uh, the more uh, we have uh, undamped system and finally at this point instability. So this uh, has something to do with uh, the the value, the distance, phase distance has something to do with the distance from instability and there is a name for this phase this is the phase margin yeah phi r is phase margin and a word um, <coughs> uh, which we uh, have to learn phase margin phase distance could also be uh, uh, used for this uh, value but phase margin is an international standard uh, expression <coughs> and the uh, definition for phase margin is uh, we talk about exactly this omega d value first. First definition is the open loop gain at omega d magnitude. That's the definition for the crossover frequency is one respective to zero dB. And the phase margin is positive if the value here is laying over minus 180, so we can say phase margin is defined <coughs> as 180 plus open loop phase at omega d. That's the base the definitions of Nyquist basic definitions of Nyquist and we will use those equations here uh, many 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 times in chapter 5 so learn this by heart keep this in your mind burn this into your brain these are the important two equations we use many 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 times in this chapter <clears throat> um, no, Nyquist has proven closed loop system. That means closed loop is index W, not uh, index W of P is nothing else than open loop divided by one plus open loop. To define what I mean with closed loop, closed loop is <clears throat> the feedback, the negative feedback open loop system. Closed loop system is stable if and only if phase margin is positive. That is a very, very simple <clears throat> statement of stability of Nyquist. Note that this replaced <clears throat> the calculation of zeros of the denominator of the transfer function. This statement replaces the calculation of Hurwitz determinants. This equation can be checked just by looking on the Bode plot curve of the open loop system. That's great and that's useful, that's powerful, and uh, <clears throat> this is the scientists, uh, since this uh, is proven, the scientists have worked several ideas to uh, for for new design methods of controllers yeah this is called the special uh, nyquist criterion uh, note the condition uh, the condition is uh, open loop is stable <coughs> okay the controller, of course, should be stable. Yeah? You 
should not use an unstable controller. I think this should be clear. The PID is stable. Uh, the actuator should be stable. The sensor, these are both parts you add to your system to, to solve the uh, control system problem. Of course, they are stable. The only thing what could be unstable is the process. The condition is F O of P or with, which is the same F P of P is stable. <coughs> or um, the impulse response of the process uh, is zero. Yeah? So the uh, uh, change of the input here, the change of the input should uh, lead to the uh, output signal which is zero. <coughs> uh, of course, if I uh, have an integrator here and an integrator here, uh, I should mention this integrators, of course, are allowed. Integrators are allowed. Integrators are indifferent, not unstable. Yeah? Integrators here in this statement belongs not to unstable systems. Integrators are allowed. The process could be an integrator. The, yeah, the controller could have an integrator. Of course, a PI has an integrator. The integrators are allowed, but negative uh, time constants, for example, in a PT1 are not allowed. Then, then we cannot use the Nyquist criterion, then this statement is not true. This statement is not true. <coughs> okay, so far let's start with uh, the chapter 5 uh, goals in the next video. Now this is now um, finish of video number 48.